And you're gonna carry out orders, my orders, you got that? You wave that finger in my face once more and I'm gonna take your head off. I'm gonna give you that chance, mister. As soon as this is over, I'll square off with you any time. And you wanna know something? That's the best thing I've got to look forward to. Steve McQueen delivers a powerful, gripping performance as a defiant loner whose skills as a soldier make him invaluable to his struggling platoon. In the heat of battle during World War II, McQueen and his fellow soldiers find themselves severely outnumbered as they hold off a Nazi advance along the Siegfried Line in France. Using only their ingenuity and bravery, they must bluff the Germans in order to buy some time and save their lives. Don Siegel directs Hell is for Heroes, in many ways a film that attempts to take the war film, emphasising its humane qualities by shrinking the scale in which the story is told. A common thread running through Siegel's best films are their sense of humanity and a loss of it. In Dirty Harry, the audience is given a character that has, in his desire to protect humanity, has lost his, and ultimately must reject the morally grey system he once served. Heroes also utilises this theme, though in a more subtle manner through interpersonal character conflict and a mostly unseen enemy force embodied by a destructive, monolithic pillbox, the overbearing presence in the narrative. McQueen plays a central role with hard-bitten, self-destructive tendencies and almost animal intensity permitting just the right degree of humanity to his performance. A personal favourite of mine, the portrayal of a human war machine gradually breaking from the horrors of war is quite compelling. I wish McQueen sported the beard in more of his pictures it gives off a rather masculine, unhinged quality to his character. McQueen is able to capture this deranged intensity with almost nihilistic, deranged expressions. His soul is coloured with the weight of war. A standout moment includes Private Reese disobeying company curfew, antisocially drinking and causing civil disturbance in a local French cafe. It's tense but sheds a light into the nature of Reese early on. And that is a man who feels most at home on the front line. Siegel toughened the standard War as Hell screenplay into an extraordinary study of the brutalising power of sanctioned violence. He centres everything squarely on the McQueen character and emphasises the tensions within the American platoon rather than the conflict with the off-screen Germans. Bobby Darren has a colourful role of a battlefield hoarder, which he portrays with relish. Harry Gardino is excellent as an uncertain, by-the-book sergeant. His sparring sessions with McQueen over his authority being challenged are a notable highlight. James Coburn is fine as a practical corporal, only really coming into his own with an interaction with McLean. I trained myself to make things work, not burn them up. Uh, here I am. I don't know what's right. I don't know. The ending which stresses the enormous human cost of a small tactical gain is remarkably powerful precisely because it's the first time that Siegel allows his audience any perspective of what they've been seeing. Don Siegel's nihilistic anti-war film is a highly effective study of the dehumanisation of war, avoiding the usual cliches, war is hell and brotherhood. A character piece driven with intensity, McQueen delivers a powerfully haunting performance as a defiant, war-weary loner. Check it out. Were you right? How the hell do I know? 